Hello, I'm Kevin Colgan, and this is my combat robot, Onslaught. Onslaught is a 15-pound robot that uh, I'm making with my school robotics team. This is the prototype phase. Um, I've already went over the, the design phase uh, in a, another video. Uh, you can go check that out if you want. Uh, today I'll be going over the overview of all the electronics and um, uh, just the design in general, and then we're going to be test driving this thing. So all of these plates were 3D printed on my uh, Creality CR10. Um, all from all the uh, plastic is from Matter Hackers. It's an assortment of PETG and PLA. Um, it's some of these, well, most of the actual components had to be split so that they could actually fit on my printer. Um, the reason why I actually 3D printed it was just because it's accessible to me. Uh, I don't really have access to a, a milling machine or a water jet that easily. So, I'll just 3D print it pretty cheap, but not the cheapest. Um, yeah, there's some design changes that are not in this actual prototype. The weapon is on here it's one inch but uh but we got seven eighths inch stock so we're just gonna cut that out on the wider jet then cut it in half and that will get of our uh, our weapon and then we were originally going to make our own pulleys for this but we decided just to uh get some pulleys and then separate it um with a steel tubing that will run through the whole weapon system and everything will be welded together. Uh, this is a dead axle, so the the shaft doesn't move at all. Um, and uh, the pulley needs some work as well. Uh, right now, it doesn't fit very snugly. Uh, the motor has a five millimeter shaft, and the uh, the bore of the pulley is a quarter inch which is roughly 6.13 millimeters, I believe. So we're gonna have to uh, shim it out, make it uh, press fit on there as well as key it on there. There is a keyway on the shaft. Um, but yeah, that's the, uh, the prototype. Let's uh, look at the drive system. So I just have uh, Bainbot's uh, RS550 uh, DC brushed motors um, connected to uh, Bainbot's 38 to 1 gearboxes and then Bainbot's 3 and 7 eighths inch wheels. Uh, I would need to upgrade these wheels to 4 and 7 eighths because right now it's not invertible. Uh, I chose DC motors because of the uh, access to these uh, DMC60 drive controllers. I have two of them, one for each motor. Uh, I'll be driving this in with this uh, controller. We'll do uh, tank steering. I originally wanted to have it all on one stick like RC and then uh, the weapon on another stick but the problem is we're using these this uh v-tail mixer and uh it doesn't have a proper fail safe on it uh i'm still searching for ones that have proper fail safes but at the time being we're just going to use um two different uh circuits for the uh drive and weapon system uh, as for the weapon system, I have this Dr. Mad Thrust 17, or 1700 kV brushless inrunner motor with this um, Red Brick Hobby King uh, 100 amp ESC. This might be a bit underpowered because this has a peak of 105 amps and I really don't want to burn this out. Um, I also have added this fan for cooling, 
this motor gets uh, really hot after uh, running it for a while. The fan doesn't really do much, but it'll still help a bit. I'm looking into getting a, uh, a heat sink that will attach to this motor. I haven't found one yet, but still searching. These, the Hobby King Red Brick ESC will power this Spectrum receiver. It's a AR400, but the uh, DMC60s, those will not power the uh, other receiver. So I just uh, have an ABEC uh, in there. It doesn't really add that much weight, so it's fine. Um, as for the power, I have this battery pack. It's 24 volts, 25 volts once you charge it fully. Uh, it's just from a uh, drill battery cobalt. Um, basically just a cheap way to get these Samsung lithium-ion cells. I just took it apart, soldered on some leads, and now I saved some weight as well. So let me go ahead and attach this in there and uh, start really getting this thing moving. Alright, so as you can tell, the battery doesn't fit in there that snugly. We're originally going to use 14.8 uh, volt um, 4 cell batteries, but those just didn't have enough uh, power to them. Um, so, the battery's a bit large. We're also only using one battery. Um, we'll see how that works. We typically use a uh, two separate batteries, two separate circuits, but... Uh, Considering weight, this is a pretty big bot for 15 pounds. So we're going to try the one battery system. Um, yeah. And then for power, I just have this, uh, this removable link as a plug. Just plug it into there. And then power will go to the system and then just pull it out if there's like an emergency or just turning off the bot. So let me go ahead and... Uh, power this bad boy up. Alright, we have power. Fail safe is working. So let's go ahead and turn on the drive transmitter. Seems to be working, so let's go ahead and drive it around. That was three minutes of continuous driving. Um, in terms of heat, everything is relatively cool. So that's good. Um, of course, it's probably going to get a bit hotter once we put on a top plate. Um, I want to check the battery voltage, see how it's doing. That's the main concern I have with this. Because if we're 
going to like 22 volts on uh, this with just the drive system and not the weapon system, then um, I'm going to have some problems. Right now we are at 22.46 volts on this battery. Uh, this battery was a bit low, around 23.6 volts when we started, so that's not bad. Um, I'm guessing when we do have the, um, the weapon running as well, we should not dip below the, uh, the recommended voltage. Um, my only concern is that it might slow down either the, uh, the drive system or the weapon system. So, let me go ahead and get this guy charging. Uh, I'm going to get the other battery. Let's go and see how much uh, voltage this battery has. Um, 24.945. Alright. So, it's a, at the nominal voltage around. So, I'm going ahead, I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug this guy into the, uh, into the robot, and I'll do a weapon and drive test to see how low this voltage goes down to after three minutes. Alright, it works. Let's test it out. So that was all that I was really comfortable with. Not that long, but we could still get a good estimate on uh, if we can run this with only one battery. Um, so that weapon was slowing down when uh, we sped up the, uh, the drive system. However, that was only about... Uh, I'd say about half throttle for the weapon. So that motor is definitely powerful. And just to check, that that motor is a bit warm, but it seems that cooling system is really doing something. So that's good. Let's go ahead and check the uh, voltage. So this is saying 23.6 volts. That's pretty good. Um, I'd say that we should probably be able to run this on one battery it's good news so I was just inspecting the robot and we've got a couple of problems with the uh, weapon when we s spun it up um, let me go and uh, take all this off and I can show you what happened this pulley ain't looking that good 
what was happening was um the actual pulley was rubbing up against uh the screws that mount the motor so it started to uh tear it up and see maybe this uh screw down here is loose um, I just put some washers in there as spacers to keep it from hitting his panel, but it seems it didn't do enough. I'm probably going to have to put some uh, thread locker on there once I have the actual final robot. Um, also, the actual weapon took some, <laughs> it took some damage. This came clean off. You can see it's, uh, it's supposed to be attached there. Um... That's one of the reasons why I did a, book, uh, a bit of changes to this, because this is just way too thin. Um, so we'll actually have like a a steel bar, like the shaft going through all the way through the weapon system. Everything will be welded to that, and then this will have the bushings in it, and then that will run on the uh, onto on this shaft. Um, it also seems we got some a bit of residue of the belt on here, so it means we've got good grip, but these belts might not last that long. That's fine, they're dirt cheap. But other than that, it was looking pretty good. This thing is going to be scary when it uh, spins up with that uh, actual weapon. Um, it's only going to be stainless steel for these weapon um, halves because that's just what we can get for the cheapest aka free um, I'm also noticing that these bushings are heating up quite a bit so might want to get some uh, heat resistance ones as well to keep them from melting and such So that was the test of the prototype bot. Um, once I have this bot made, I'll make a new update video. Um, and then if I can get footage for the battles, I'll make a uh, battle report videos. So look forward to that. Thanks for watching. Go and make something.